holes difficult. I have to break the fibrous walls, build collagen, and in some case, cut the tetring. Cutting the tetring is very easy. Take a needle, cut the tetras, it comes out. Once, maybe twice. Once the tetras are cut, that's it. Now, to break the fibrous walls and to build the collagen, we have lasers, we have radio frequency. I prefer to use the radio frequency devices because there's a lower chance of a complication called post inflammatory hyperpigmentation. Traditionally, we were all taught to use the carbon dioxide laser for acne scars, atrophic acne scar treatment. If you use a lot of power, it generates a lot of heat. And in that process, the chance of PIH can be very high. In some studies, if I really push hard to get really good results, PIH in dark skin can be up to 80%, really too high. I prefer to use the erbium. It doesn't generate so much heat. It still produces PIH, not as common as the CO2, maybe 20%. It depends on which study you're reading. I'm a little bit cautious about it. I prefer to use ablative radio frequency and radio frequency continuous wave microneedling. I push a little bit harder. So the results are always better than a laser. The risk of PIH, although some people say zero, it's not zero. You still get a 2-3% chance of PIH. But 2-3% is much lower than the other lasers. And PIH can be cleared. It's just like the brown pimple mask. I'll clear it for you as part of acne scars that you have had PIH anyway.